guys we got a 2003 chevy silverado 3500 6.0 engine this is going to work for you know pretty much the same story with your 1500s 2500s five threes everything you know four eights we got our little cover off here our little shroud we just started got it right here it's got these little plastic pop clips in there you pop out the center and pull them out not too hard they just saw your butt crack jamie all right. All right. What are we I working got, on I got next? a butt crack in there. Sweet. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. We got ourselves a clutch fan right there. Oh, uh, we, we're going to want... We're, pull that boot. Yeah, we're going to want to take that apart. We're going to want to get this radiator hose out the way. We're going to want to get the shroud out of the way. Um, You see you got some bolts there for the shroud. Yep. We're going to get this intake out of the way. You got a couple of uh, hose clamps. This has an aftermarket cold air intake doohickey don't do that just leave a stock guys jesus mine came that way so don't get on me about the hose that. clamps eight millimeter ten millimeter whatever they're going to be or screwdriver get everything out of the way i'll come back to you in a minute we got the top half of the shroud off same old plastic clips right there and there you might have bolts on your model Got our radiator hose off, our upper, came off of there. This one had some hose clamps, used big pliers to press that screen, uh, yeah, spring clamp in. On this one, we have trans and oil cooler lines. This one's held on with a hose clamp right here. And then this one's a little bit of a specialty. You pull this black guy back. You can see it's a little crusted. There's a little clip inside there. I usually use a tiny pick to get it out. It will go flying on you. So uh, make sure you don't lose it if your new radiator doesn't come with one. We'll go ahead and get this <coughs> bottom half of the shroud out too. And same story on this side on the oil cooler lines. We've got this clip. I can't get this one with my hands. I'm going to need a screwdriver. And there's a clip inside there. Let's go ahead and get this disassembled. Get an oil bucket to catch any oil. We already caught the coolant. Drain your radiator first is always a good idea. Um, is there a radiator drain out down below there? Uh, there might be on this one. It depends on the year and the model. If they've been replaced before or not. That, that kind of thing. Let's get that stuff done. Chevy truck. Clutch fan removal. We got our shroud and everything off because we're doing a radiator too. Here's our clutch fan wrench kit right there you can rent those from any major parts store and get your money back when you return them through the rental program you also need a spanner wrench a lot of the kits come with that and what we're going to do is hook it on and i'm going to show you that after we crack it free if you have two guys it really makes a difference it helps all right so we're going to hold this i'm going to hold this one down and jamie's going to pull that breaker bar you're supposed to be holding I'm trying. <laughs> All right. Are you ready? Yep. Cracker free. All right. Too much. We've just got too much. We need a, some place to rest this wrench against that salad. So we'll bring it back this way. All right. And like if we had a little pulley to lay it against, that'd be nice. Not recommended, but we have a belt here. All right, now try. All right, here we go. We just get joy. We just got joy. Did it slip, or yeah, did we? It slipped off. It oh, slipped my off. spanner wrench slipped off. See your spanner wrench right here. It's got these pegs. I've drove a couple extra for different ones. It fit into the hole on the water pump here. There we go there's four holes on the water pump our problem is this one is just on there really tight go ahead and bring it back this way all right bring it to where you want it all right now try it again um i'm seeing where your problem is it's yeah I, we're still on it. it a little give it a little more all right i'm going, going. Ooh, cracked free Cracked my elbow too. That was nice. You all right? Once, oh, I'm good. Once it cracks free, oh, it, <laughs> once it cracks free, it comes off like butter. A big rusty nut looking thing. See? Oh yeah, she's good. So now we can just spin it. 
right off. You see the nuts moving now? All you gotta do is crack it free that little bit and then it comes off. So this is our spanner tool right here. It's got the little notches to fit into the holes to lock the pulley in. And we, on most of your Chevy trucks, it's gonna be that one and seven sixteenths or 36 millimeter wrench. Breaker bar comes in handy too. We got our clutch fan off. You don't have to do that. You can get away without doing it. It just makes it easier. I right, got a video on that. Just search up fur curl Chevy truck clutch fan removal. And here we go. Here's our oil clip. I grabbed this little tail with my pick to pull it out. And I started filming to show you guys this clip. Now you can grab this opening. Do, 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 do. Trying to film off. And pew, see it just went flying. It went pew. That's why I want my other hand, not on the camera, but actually on the back of that clip so it doesn't go flying. Well, it's flying that way. I think it went in the coolant bucket, but I'm pretty sure a new radiator has new clips. They don't always come with new clips. Be careful, guys. So we're gonna get these, uh, we got our hose draining down there. We're gonna get these lines off. And uh, then we're gonna work on getting this radiator out of here. Where Two bolts out of the top. See, there and there. Now it's ready to come out. Wait, we can't forget about our AC. Is that connected at all? I can't remember. I don't think so. Yeah, there's, uh, there we go. She just press in on that uh, top clamp or press out. Press out. Yeah, inwards towards the vehicle. Yep. Tough right up there. Yep. Oh. Yeah, we're just stuck on some hoses and stuff. It's ready to be pulled right out. So I'm gonna drop my camera so I can keep the hoses out of the way while Jamie pulls it out. There's our new radiator. We've checked to make sure everything's the same on the side that's facing that way. It is correct radiator. And I'm going to keep these hoses. You can see that lower radiator hose is still connected and that trans line and stuff. I'm going to keep everything forward while Jamie finesses it in there. And we can't forget our rubber stoppers at the bottom of the radiator. You see those two big holes on each side the radiator goes into. Usually the new radiator is not provided with these rubber pads at the bottom. So make sure you exchange those over if you didn't get any. And we'll drop this new radiator in. All right, we got our new radiator in. We transferred our upper bushings over. That's how they fit in there. You can kind of fit it in. It might give you a little trouble, but half on one side, half on the other. Important note, some of these radiators have a little clip on the lower bushing. See that little clip? So you gotta put a screwdriver in there and close the clip while you pull it out to get those off. They click in. Jamie's over here tightening our first bolts up there. And I will show you how these hoses go in. So your transmission hoses and your oil cooler hoses. We got the new clip in there, the new fitting in there, and they just snap right in. Typically. Snap right in. All right, the oil cooler hoses are harder. Harder to do with one hand. Let me try doing the transmission on this side. Make sure it's clean where it counts. Little oil is always not there. We go. You hear that snap? It won't pull back out. It is locked in. Locked. Do that. Do that on all four, and hook your hoses back up. We've got everything hooked up. Bottom fan shroud in. Clips on on each side. On that groove and that groove. There's two little teeth that kind of go down there. And we got our fan started. We're just gonna spin that on and tighten it down. And uh, I think you guys pretty much can get the gist of the rest of it. Get your fan tight, and then we'll put our upper shroud on, hook our hose up, fill it up with coolant. You get it. After you fill it up with coolant, go ahead and start it up and let it warm up, and it'll suck some more down, shut it off, let it cool off completely, fill it back up, take it for a drive, let it cool down, fill it up again. You know, never open that hot. And, uh, yeah, you guys get it. Thanks for watching, and we'll catch you on the next one.
Hey guys, we just put a new radiator in this. It was sealing from the side. We're almost all the way done and I'm feeling fantastic. Ha 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 ha.